right, everyone. This is Tim. This is New York Giants Straight Talk. Oh, you know what? Why don't you just jump on the camera? Why not? Because the hair's looking good. A little bit of the Iceman going on. Not as, as high up, but you know what? It's still looking good after after a period of time where I just couldn't get to the barber to get my hair done. But you know what? It's done. We're back on the mic. We're back on the camera. I want to talk about the the Saquon Barkley uh, situation. And Saquon and the Giants are both kind of under the same impression right now. They're, they're not panicking. It's it's going out till July 17th. That seems to be the drop-dead date. Saquon has talked about it a few times that there is a possibility that he could sit out the entire season, that he could pull, that he could pull a bell, he could ring that bell and sit out the 2023 season. I see that uh, pro, the legendary Pro Football Focus just came out with their rankings of quarter, excuse me, running backs, and the uh, Giants are ranked eighth. And I love it because they're like, well, you know, the Giants aren't solely dependent on Saquon Barkley. You know, Matt Breida had 61 carries. And we also have the rookie out there. Listen, Saquon Barkley's, his need and his necessity to this team is paramount. Let's just say it like it is. Unless they are going to go in an entirely different direction with this offense, it's paramount. But one thing I want to talk about, though, is the trade rumors. The idiocy of some of these trade rumors that I've seen. We are Mike Evans is not leaving Tampa to come to the Giants. The, the, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are not trading their all-world wide receiver who has never gone under 1,000 yards in his entire career in a season, who is a cornerstone, who is a linchpin of this team, who is a pillar in the Tampa community, is not being traded for Saquon Barkley. I've seen this stupidity. He is on, he's got one year left on his contract at 23. It's like, I believe it's about 23 million that Mike Evans it is. Tampa is already talking about renegotiating. Tampa's are him and he and Tampa are already in negotiations to extend his contract. They are not moving on from a guy that is their franchise. That is you you think of teams that have like a gold standard of a player. You think of Lawrence Taylor for the Giants. You think of someone like Walter Payton of the Chicago Bears. You think of Barry Sanders for the Detroit Lions. These are guys that are on the team's Mount Rushmore. Mike Evans is a good guy. He is a good community guy. He is a good team guy. And he is a focal point of that offense. You could talk about God winning. You talk about everyone else. He is the guy. You do not go out and get Baker Mayfield to turn around and trade his primary target. It, think. <laughs> think. You Use this thing that is between the headphones. Use this. Think about it. Before you post something stupid. And I know it's the silly season. I know it's the slow season. I know people need shit to talk about. But talk about the rookies. Talk about how the Giants offense is going to totally change and re-evolve. And, and, and talk about talk about Dable. Talk about Kayvon Thibodeau, how he's what he's gonna do in year two. Talk I'm giving you guys ideas. I'm get, I'm literally throwing out ideas for you. Not the stupidity of we're going to trade for Mike Evans. I don't know where it comes from. And then I love it because these same these are the same people that say, well, Saquon's not worth the money he's asking for. Oh, but, he, but he's going to be, but his value is an all-worldwide receiver. <laughs> his value, he's not that important to the Giants, but Tampa needs him. And they're going to give up their primary target, their their good guy award winner, so you could turn around and have Saquon Barkley. Really? Do you think about these things before you actually physically say them and put them out into the metaverse or the universe or the stratosphere or whatever the hell it is? That's the end of the day. Saquon's probably going to end up being a giant. He he's he's the, the reports are coming out now that he he's not asking for the world. He's just asking for a fair deal in reference to guaranteed money in reference to security. And I don't think the Giants are going to budge anytime soon because of the fact that I feel that, you know, you got them, you got them at a discounted price. Some positions, the salary cap, when excuse me, some positions, the salary cap, when you tag that player, it's a detriment to the team, especially if they have to tag them twice. And the running back position is not that way. It's not that way. And for someone that's as important to this offense as Saquon Barkley, 
you are playing with fire. You are playing with the fact that he may just sit there and say, I don't want to do this. I'm going to sit out. What the hell? What do I got to lose? I'm going to go broadcast college football. But at the end of the day, I do think they're going to try to get something done. At the end of the day, I think it's going to, it's got to be fair for both the team and the player. But for the love of God, stop the stupidity. Stop these trades. I, I, I've had a block, not block, I've had to mute so many people on Twitter because the idiocy is running amok. We're going to have a lot of fun shows coming up this week. i got a couple podcasts I've been doing as well. We're going to bring back the Sunday show. We didn't do it this Sunday show because of Father's Day. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned for that with R0B. And again, this is Tim. This is New York Giants Straight Talk. And I'm out.